Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about measures, bar lines and the double bar. Music is divided into equal parts by bar lines. The area between the two bar lines is called a measure or a bar. As you can see here, we have one bar line here and the other one here. The space between them it's called a measure or a bar. Apart from the normal uh, bar line we also have the double bar. The double bar is written at the end of a piece of music. It is made up of one thin and one thick line with the thick line always on the outside. This is what I was talking about. As you can see we have the double line, the thick line on the outside and the thin line on the inside. We always put it like this at the end of a piece. <clears throat> Our next thing is going to be uh, how to write them on a grand staff. So for that we are going to need the bass clef. Uh, on a grand staff the bar lines and double bar pass through the, the entire staff. That means when you're writing music for a grand staff, when you're writing this line, you do not stop here, but you con continue all the way down to the end of the bass clef. That way you connect them. So this is going to be for today's short lesson. Uh, I think it's very important for writing music and these are mistakes that usually a lot of people make in the beginning when they are learning about music. So pay attention about these details. Uh, they are important when, for example, you would want to give your music to someone else to play it or to examine it. Uh, the important part is to be written correctly. If you have any questions, please write into the comments. Don't forget to check the previous videos and also like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next lesson.